Hey everyone, this is Brian Pitzer with the Northern Angler Fly Shop here in Traverse City, Michigan. And today we're gonna to talk about saltwater fly lines. If anything has really changed over the past five to 10 years, one of the major improvements that we've had in fly fishing technology is in fly line. You know, I noticed this, especially when I was fishing to spooky fish. There is a line for every condition that you come across when you're down in the flats. Not every day is flat, calm, mirror-like conditions. There are days when it blows 30 miles an hour and you need a heavier line um, to basically cast through the wind, to, to turn over those flies. The other thing to consider many times would be an intermediate line or a sink tip line, an intermediate tip to cut through the, the chop of the salt to present the fly better. So, you know, Thank goodness the our fly rod line manufacturers have teamed up a lot of times with the fly rod manufacturers and come up with some lines that really, really do help your casting, help your presentation, and help you gain more success on the water. On the first day of our trip this year, it was the best day, and we had very low wind. We pulled onto this flat and this the guide was up on the pulling platform and we are covered up in tailing bonefish all up and down the shoreline. For that type of situation, I would choose a bonefish taper. The whole idea beside, behind the bonefish taper is it has very low stretch, extremely slick to cast, and it has a nice taper that will turn over that fly. You can make several false casts with this line, shoot it out, and make sure you're accuracy is pinpoint on these fish. Really recommend the bonefish taper in that type of situation. I love it for wading and I love it for low wind days where you kind of have plenty of time to set up when fishing from the boat. The second line that I used a ton of, especially on this last trip, we had a lot of wind, uh, was the bonefish quick shooter. So this is a nice kind of heavy loaded front end and again low stretch super slick but the idea behind this is you make one or two false casts shoot it out get it in range and the and the fish you know comes over and hopefully eats your fly right so that's the whole idea behind the quick shooter is that real quick you know super fast you know, one or two false casts, get it out there, present the fly, the boat's moving, the fish are moving, that sort of thing. The other line that we used a ton of were intermediate lines. So we were fishing tarpon in channels, we were fishing tarpon in a little bit deeper water, around mangroves, things like that, fishing tarpon in a chop. The intermediate line is a great choice and a lot of the you know, Florida Keys guides, they recommend the intermediate lines. And this is a really great option when you're fishing to fish in deeper, deeper water. So uh, Oceanside Permit, Oceanside Bonefish, where maybe you're in a little bit deeper water, you're searching for those bigger fish, an intermediate line is a very great choice for that. The Flats Pro. This is an all around great flats line. Um, again, a nice quick shooting line. You can still back cast it a couple of times without any issues and it should be definitely one of those that you would consider in your arsenal for your salt. Now when we go down and fish, I'm basically taking anywhere from a 7 through a 10 weight. We're fishing baby tarpon down to bonefish. Um, I love a 7 weight for those, you know, perfect no wind days, uh, that, that seven weight line kind of hits that water a little bit more softly than an eight or a nine weight. And especially when you're targeting spooky fish, I find a seven weight, it's kind of a forgotten weight when it comes to salt water. It's a great way to go. Speaking of spooky fish, we're really excited because Rio has come out with a flats clear floating line. So, this is a great choice when you're talking about spooky fish, things like pressured bonefish, permit. Permit are like, they're the most difficult fish to catch. 
And I think a clear floating line would really, really help with the amount of great presentations that you would have at these spooky fish and hopefully would not, you know, maybe have that shadow as it, as it comes across where you, you can get a better presentation to the fly and hopefully increase your hookup ratios. That kind of goes over the flats lines that we have here in stock. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, it is kind of saltwater season. Everybody's uh, at least around here trying to get out of the, the Michigan winter, the grayness, go see some sun and maybe head into the Bahamas. You know, we just got back from Cuba, Mexico. There are so many great places, the Seychelles. Lots of great places to go check out. Let us know what your saltwater needs are and we're happy to help you out.